Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we are late on night here in USA, uh, but I saw this news and I wanted to go live uh, to speak about it. So please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you can so we can get more people and they can join us in our discussion. We heard in the news that uh, a sick idiot, he attacked uh, a mosque or two mosques and uh, like, uh, you know, first the news, they said he killed 29 people, but obviously they were doing their share in false news. Uh, it looked like there's only about nine victims, which a lot, actually. It's not just, I mean, but thank God it's not 29. But here you notice <clears throat> that, you know, the media is encouraging such such a cowardly attack to be uh, exist. Uh, if you if you see the news, you will see this guy. He is proud about himself. He go in his car. He is recording himself. Actually, he's doing live streaming in Facebook, and he is proud about being supposedly what he think he is a hero. And obviously, this guy and many of him they will do that again and again because they are looking for attention. There is many people they do crimes just for attention. You know, they have a, a special pleasure of uh, being seen uh, and the media actually look like they they are encouraging <clears throat> such a crimes to happen uh, you know yesterday I was talking about atheist and I just said the the word filthy as a atheist filthy not filthy city city sorry city atheist and then I got a strike from YouTube immediately. I mean, I mean, how fast they can know and how fast they are just to be angry and upset from somebody just said the word silly or my title says the word silly. So for silly and not only that, they strict the age of the video, like the video suddenly became adult video as if we are talking about having porn. And here you notice I post in Facebook a post uh, uh, ex exposing uh, uh, racism in Islam where it says a black person, uh, uh, angels are always white and the devil is always black and I say this is stupid. And then Facebook restrict me from 30 days from posting for fighting against racism. Yet Facebook, anyone can go, he can take his guns, and he can go live and they will not even notice you and he starts shooting people I mean it, like uh, there's no way when this guy was doing that nobody was reporting immediately uh, to Facebook uh, uh, authority about what's happened uh, but obviously I mean uh, they have their own agenda and they are they are sick the same as the criminal who did this crime now you know, I said before, there's many criminals will be inspired by the crimes of ISIS, which is simply the Islamic State, which is simply uh, uh, Muhammad's lifestyle of killing people. We for sure condemn killing any person who is innocent, any person who is unarmed, Muslim, Christian, Jew, Hindu, atheist, doesn't matter. Anyone he shoot people who did not attack him, to defend himself he is a filthy coward anyone who attack like you know if you attack a soldier at least i mean he's a soldier and he's armed but what kind of honor for a man he claimed to be a hero he attack a bunch of people who have not not even little knife in their pocket i mean how cowardly how I, this very disgusting creature seeking attention and he is uh, trying to uh, uh, you know obviously those people they have they have mental issues and I believe most of those criminals are inspired by Isis Isis when we say Isis we are talking about Muhammad himself if you remember Muhammad he took commit many crimes exactly the same as this attack in the mosque as an example what the difference between attacking those people in the mosque and attacking those people who they are watering their animals as we see in front of us nothing 
people people go into mosque they are harming nobody they have their religion we don't agree with it we debate them peacefully we don't appreciate hate and we will not support hate Muhammad he did not debate people anyone don't agree with him this is exactly what he do to them he quoted them when they are watering their animals and they are not aware of any attack and this filthy coward he did exactly the same he went to those people who they are not aware of any attack and he starts shooting at them the only difference between this man and Muhammad that Muhammad is more uh, aggressive uh, in his uh, crimes he took all the women and the children's are captives and he raped them this guy he did not rape any women uh, maybe because there's no women in the mosque maybe he would do if he if there is some women you never know he's a criminal anyway but you will see here uh, a famous criminal can be an inspiration to many future criminals Many of those who watch ISIS videos, they are inspired. They did not go to school to learn, you know, how to do this thing. They see videos. Videos these days is a, is like a school for criminals. Uh, today you will see someone he do attack, like you know, uh, uh, we saw tons of attacks, hundreds, you know. I mean. Uh, like the Muslims actually they are facing a lot less attack than anyone else in the world usually it is the opposite would happen this is very real so when when somebody he attack a Christmas market and he go over hundreds of people in the street by a big huge truck he is inspired by who we can say by Isis but Isis inspired by who the truth is they are inspired by their prophet however for us we as a Christians we should always stand against violence and against hate and we should expose it and if you ever feel somebody he is uh, he have like uh, uh, attention to hate or uh, uh, violence stay away from him and even you should you better report him to the authority to stop him before he commit his a crime because if you know about a crime is going to happen and you know this is really is going to happen like he said to you uh, oh I'm going to go and shoot some people doesn't matter who they are Christian Jews Muslim doesn't matter you don't just keep your mouth shut you should report this person for this person obviously is like a, a sick bacteria in the society it doesn't matter who is he <clears throat> and we all of us you know uh, like you see there's many Muslims they are Muslims by name and they don't believe they don't believe anymore in violence and they don't believe in Muhammad anymore so we you know we we who against violence doesn't matter who we are we should always stand against it because violence will hurt you not only will hurt me if you think violence will go and stop in a place you are mistaken you know life is like a mirror and violence bring nothing but violence and hate bring nothing but hate uh, you know <clears throat> there's one of the saints I wrote um, I don't know Rick uh, I don't remember his name he said uh, hate is like a poison kill the one who have it you know but like as like you are drinking your poison because you have it in your heart so hatred uh, is very very sick disease and very dangerous and the first thing it does it kill the one who have the hate in his heart this is why we as a Christians we have a better life and uh, you know the first thing the Lord he said to us for you know before we ask the Lord to forgive us we say this I mean forgive to us the same we forgive to others which mean it's required for us to forgive to others before we ask for forgiveness for ourselves otherwise you don't qualify for asking the Lord for forgiveness and forgiveness all is about love and not about hate because there is no way somebody he still hate and yet he forgive 
Uh, <clears throat> always be careful and not to be driven by somebody want to take you into hatred. You know, like you see, uh, one of the struggle we as a Christians in the Middle East we suffer from that we we are under a lot of discrimination. So now you in your life you struggle. Should I hate them? They are discriminate me. They are you know I'm not equal. You know they are they are insulting me publicly. They are etc. So what we should do? You know the 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 wisdom of the Lord is amazing. It always keep us in balance and always we are victorious. After all the discrimination, Christians in the Middle East they are the best example of successful family, successful businessmen, successful life, successful lifestyle. They are successful in every way. If you go to any country have a Christians in the Middle East, you will find that the percentage of university graduate doctors engineer lawyers of Christians is extremely high while it is extremely low from the other belief which is Islam so how the minority who are discriminated they are the most successful simply because the life which is inspired by Christ make us different make us successful even after discrimination our life is a blast and most of the time uh, you know uh, discrimination can your life like really even better because I this is what I noticed by the way like a Christian who is discriminated is a better Christian and you will notice that the glory of our church our, our fathers was when they were discriminated and even killed not when the church is comfortable the more they discriminate us the more we are stronger strong in faith and even we are able to bring more people to Christ you see during the time when the Roman they were feeding us to animals and tigers the Roman with all the the violence they use against us which is extreme violence after all the violence they could not stop Christianity so don't don't be part of hate religion because if you do that then you are not a Christian no more now this guy obviously he is not a Christian and I don't know what's what he believe in sound like weird guy but he obviously he have a mental issue sometime you know if you remember the guy from Norway he you know he went to the park and he started shooting at immigrants all those immigrants they were Middle Eastern Christians most of them maybe we can say 85% Middle Eastern Christians just because they are immigrants so we showed them you know very ugly very very and very stupid too you know very, very stupid it's not it's not even like uh, sometime you ask yourself I mean what what okay what you accomplish now here we go you will spend the rest of your life like a rat in jail if you are not going to be executed actually if I am if I am in charge of government I will execute this guy immediately and I will make an example of him you know by law for sure not like you know as a criminal too by law you know if the law allow execution this guy should be executed immediately to make an example of him for those who try in the future to kill innocent people it doesn't matter who is this person like you know uh, you see now Isis they are captured and Trump is asking European to take them I mean how, how silly how stupid those are criminals what do you mean to take them why if somebody kills somebody he's going to be executed but those ISIS are not going to be executed and now you want to send them home very silly I mean the system we have in government is very silly and very stupid they are treating them as if they are you know like respected soldiers uh, we need always to be careful and we need our always to balance ourselves and not to be like Muhammad never be like Muhammad never do what they do don't go down to that level because then if you do you become satanic you see we as a Christians uh, we should defend ourselves you know I, I know like some churches they teach you that Jesus he turns he turned the cheek but this is not about you know about defending yourself no this is about you know take take the law use the law uh, but let us say uh, you live in a country and your country is attacked you as a Christian you have duty to defend your country a Christian who defend who don't defend 
his home he is a cowardly person and he is no he is no Christian a Christian who don't defend his wife imagine somebody want to rape your wife what do you do you pray for him you say to Jesus says love you my enemy this is not what Jesus taught you the Bible is full of example of teaching you what you should do so you know yes the Lord is is is, is the Lord of peace but criminals always should be punished and this guy is no different should be executed according to the law if the law is allowing that you know in the Bible if a person he killed he should be killed this is a criminal he killed innocent people they did nothing wrong to him and he have no reason to do what he did like it's not somebody even killed his somebody from his family or something he's just an idiot you know trying to get attention boosting himself and he's happy like you know oh yeah let me let, let us let the party started even he said I I think in the video he said let the party started look how, how disgusting he is this is party for him so uh, the problem the problem is uh, we need we need a better law all around the world those criminals should be we should not give them a chance to live and stay in jail for 20 years and then after that they go out a person he killed now nine people he will go out after 20 years that's not fair there's nine people in the grave right now and then this guy he will go to jail for 20 years why because the law of the country uh, says uh, we don't uh, support execution the law should be changed because this is not a fair law it's not fair that the killer he go out and somebody he go to the grave right so we don't want to be we don't want to be like Muhammad who attack people when they are watering their cattle we don't want to be inspired by a criminal we don't want to be inspired by Isis the Islamic State of Allah and I speak to everybody not only Christians for sure like maybe atheists don't like to hear me uh, like atheists these days are very upset from me and they think and by the way the atheists they think they are better they are better than all of us they are better than anyone who believe in God <coughs> uh, somebody says Jesus will not support death penalty my friend look like you did not read the Bible isn't it the Bible says the one who kill an innocent man should be killed where do you get this from that Jesus will not support isn't it Jesus he said the one who live by the sword die by the sword I mean you obviously you did not read your Bible Jesus said the one who live by the sword die by the sword which means justice is if you kill you will be killed that is what Jesus is saying unless you are saying the Bible is not our book no more no the Bible support death penalty for criminals absolutely and this is absolute justice but you know we understand that every country have their own law and they take uh, you know we can you cannot we cannot force a law on them people they vote for their own law and they decide what it is going to be best for them but I believe that the best law is that a criminal who kills especially when he do commit mass murder especially if it's a hate crime or uh, you know uh, uh, there's nothing can be justified about it you know then this guy should be you know should deserve death All right uh, <clears throat> anyway I will not be surprised if uh, you know like a criminal he start to practicing what Muhammad does or what Isis start doing because they watch too many videos beheading children watch them you know even isis uh, you know they bring like a barbie for a child and they ask him to chop their head and then after that they took them to chop the head of the real people so imagine how many criminals are created in the last eight years you know they are all over and they have schools teaching them that 